Ah, uh, Nintendo's new controller for the hardcore gaming crowd. Why does it look so familiar? It's almost as if... Oh, damn it! In order to be a more friendly next generation platform for third party developers, for all the good it's done them, Nintendo has gone back to the traditional gamepad form with the Wii U Pro Controller. Essentially the same layout as the Wii U gamepad, but without the giant screen in the middle. Unfortunately, there are a lot of uncanny resemblances to the Xbox 360 controller. The Wii U Pro Controller has all the same face buttons, albeit in the typical left to right Nintendo order. There are two sets of trigger buttons. What Microsoft calls bumpers are simply L and R, consistent with Nintendo's naming convention for the last 20 years. However, Nintendo calls the secondary set ZL and ZR a direct reference to the similarly named and badly placed buttons on the original Wii Classic controller, and the more reasonably laid out Classic Controller Pro. Themselves a reference to the Z button on the Wii Nunchuck, the GameCube controller, and going all the way back three console generations to the Nintendo 64 three-prong controller. The name isn't really any better or worse than L2R2 or LTRT, but you get the picture. Unlike the Xbox 360, these secondary shoulder buttons are digital only and not analog triggers. That's going to make GameCube emulation tough, since its L and R buttons had a second click in addition to the generous analog range of motion. Catching up to three generations ago, both of the analog sticks are clickable. What do you call these anyway? R3 and L3 don't make any sense. On the Xbox, they're just called LS and RS. Maybe that's good enough. And then, as we mentioned, there's the placement. This is just about the only configuration that hasn't been tried yet. The Sega Saturn 3D controller put its analog nub thingy below the D-pad, but didn't have a second stick. The N64 didn't have another stick per se, but allowed you to control the camera with four C buttons above the two main face buttons. Nintendo and Microsoft had essentially the same configuration during the GameCube and original Xbox days, but no one really called foul. Why? Were the button shapes and controller profiles just sufficiently different? Sony has been putting two sticks on the bottom since the DualShock for the original PlayStation. Where was the hue and cry when the Classic Controller Pro came out practically the same as the DualShock 3? <laughs> but this, this, oh, this is a gross miscarriage of justice. I suppose all that's left are the superficial differences. At least the underside looks a bit different from the bulk of the 360 controllers. On the other hand, we really should compare apples to apples. Oh, double damn it! Regardless, the Wii U Pro Controller is a big improvement over the bulk of the Xbox 360 battery pack, and even the similar profile of the wireless GameCube WaveBird controller from a decade ago. The Wii U Pro Controller has a built-in, high-capacity, rechargeable battery pack, the same one that's in the 3DS, which purportedly can last 80 hours at a time inside the controller. Unlike a 3DS, it's charged through the included standard micro-USB cable that you can plug into any one of the Wii U's four USB ports. And it's light, really unexpectedly light, like PS3 6-axis light, and that's only because that controller didn't have any rumble functionality. So what of the Pro Controller? Oh yeah, it's in there. Actually, it's a lot stronger and less noisy than the gamepad rumble. And I kind of prefer it on games like Mass Effect. Speaking of games, which ones are compatible with the Wii U Pro Controller? Pretty much any of the third-party disc games, which are already ports of games available on the Xbox 360 and PS3 anyway. Same goes for the eShop only titled Tryon 2, which works with either the Pro Controller or GamePad, as well as the similarly ported also eShop only Nano Assault Neo, but only as the second controller in multiplayer mode. And last but not least, it works with any Wii U Virtual Console title with fully mappable controls. And then of course, the question of all questions, can you use it at all in the Wii U's Wii mode? to play Virtual Console or other games. I mean, it's no different than a Wii Classic controller, right? So it should be fine. Unfortunately, the moment you enter full Wii mode, the controller will disconnect, and be unable to reconnect until you go back into Wii U mode. So that's it, everything you want to know about the Wii U Pro Controller, and probably then some. It's just as comfortable as it looks, and pretty hardy, despite how light it is. Now, if only a certain publishers would see fit to release their Pro Controller compatible games, we could all just keep playing with the Wii U Pro Controller.